Ahoy there, pirates! Amir, or One Falcon, here from Rare Thief. The Ghost Fleet world event has returned. Pirates can once again take on Captain Flameheart's menacing Ghost Fleet and repel his advance in the Sea of Thieves. While the encounter itself remains unchanged from when it was previously in the game, Captain Flameheart is no longer present. Instead, a thin swirling green tornado now indicates that the world event is active. For those unfamiliar with Flameheart's Spectral Armada, the Ghost Fleet world event is a naval-based encounter that will test your ship combat mastery against four waves of ghost ships. Throughout the world event, Flameheart's ghost ships will circle the island the tornado is over and shoot at any ships who dare approach. Unlike the rest of the world events in Season 9, the Ghost Fleet world event does not scale to the number of pirates participating, so every pirate, regardless of crew size, will experience the same fight. To complete the first wave of the Ghost Fleet world event, you must destroy any seven grunt ghost ships circling the island. These ghost ships take three cannonballs to scuttle. If you run out of cannonballs, don't forget that shooting firebombs, blunder bombs, and chain shots at ghost ships will also damage them. Upon defeat, the ghost ships can drop a storage crate of the damned, so if you're low on supplies, you'll want to watch out for them. You can easily spot them by looking for the circling ghosts that hover above ghost ship supplies and loot. You can play it safe and keep your distance as you sail around the circle, taking out any grunts that pass you by. Or play it more aggressively and drive right into their route to take them head on while they sail towards you. Regardless of your approach, your priority should always be keeping your ship afloat. Repair and bucket when you can. You'll also want to try to avoid colliding with any ghost ships. While they will sail right through you, they will still leave a few holes behind in your ship. After defeating seven grunts, you will move on to the second wave, where you must take out two formations of ghost ships, each led by a formation leader. You can quickly spot the formation leaders by the ashen dragon on their sails. The formation leader is stronger than the grunts, taking 10 cannonballs to scuttle. However, focusing on them is incredibly beneficial, as destroying the formation leader will eliminate any remaining ghost ships in the formation and leave behind a pile of loot. Once you've defeated the two formation leaders, you'll move on to the third wave. The third wave is a repeat of the first wave, so destroy seven more grunt ghost ships to move on to the fourth and final wave. For the final wave, you will take on several ghost ship formations led by formation leaders. If you're looking to maximize your loot, you'll want to focus on the two formation leaders with the Ashen Dragon sails first. This is because, if you want to quickly complete the world event, you'll want to focus on the formation led by Captain Flameheart's flagship, the Burning Blade. You can tell which formation leader is the Burning Blade by the red outline of a heart on its sails. Sinking the Burning Blade will end the entire encounter, completing the world event. The Burning Blade takes a whopping 24 cannonballs to scuttle, so it could take you a few passes to finally take it down. Upon its defeat, the Burning Blade will drop a massive pile of loot. In that loot pile will be a Cannonball Crate of the Damned, which contains various ghostly cannonballs, including the devastating Wraith Ball. You'll want to use these Wraith Balls wisely, as they can help turn the tide in a fight and are necessary for completing the Unleash the Damned commendation. If you have any questions, comments, or wild stories from the Ghost Fleet encounter, be sure to leave a comment below. See you on the sea, pirates.